When I was at school, I was kind of confused and I found it kind of hard because the teachers told me to do a lot of things at once. When I was in my old school, I couldn't read, I couldn't write. I always need helping, help doing that. School was hard. Didn't have many friends because I couldn't interact with a lot of people. Homework was always a challenge, a big fight between me and my mom. I would have not been able to do a lot of fractions or word problems, which really struggled me because math is a big part of school. Um, my English was okay and I was really bad in um, history because I couldn't remember the names of a place and the quotes that a famous person could have said or a famous place that was discovered by someone. My son did not want to get out of bed and he didn't want to go to school and he was turning um, into a really unhappy person. I had trouble with everything. I didn't really understand how all the other kids were having such like a good time at school and I was the only one having such a difficult time. I wasn't that confident and I kind of, I would wait for friends to come to me instead of going up to them. So I kind of wanted to like go away and yeah, just kind of like sit in a corner. I was in grade three and um, I wasn't like very good at looking at people and then like telling like how they're feeling. Giving to this Dare to Dream fundraiser uh, is important uh, for several reasons. The study of learning disabilities and neuroplasticity allows us to go right back to the beginning of this child's educational career at the kindergarten, first, second grade level and provide the cognitive intervention that will change their life forever, that will allow them to dare to dream. The Aerosmith program, uh, compared to other interventions for children with learning disabilities, is fundamentally different. Um, I've been in this field for, well, since I was diagnosed with dyslexia. Uh, so I've been living with a learning disability all of my life. And the, the general approach right now is to bypass cognitive weaknesses or neurological weaknesses, provide accommodations, provide technology, provide smaller classes, uh, provide books on tape, note takers, uh, those kind of interventions, which bypass the root cause of their learning disability, which is cognitive. The Aerosmith program goes right at the cause of learning disabilities, these neurological weaknesses, and works with children over three years, roughly three to four years, to change their brain so that neurologically, they don't have the memory problems, they don't have the processing problems, uh, they don't have the motor output problems for writing, like dysgraphia. Uh, and this fundamentally changes this child's ability to engage in learning, to engage in the classroom, to feel what it's like to be an independent learner without a whole truckload of support around them. It's great to be here and the exercises, like clocks, have helped me with reasoning, completing tasks, and they've helped me um, they've helped me not be so confused anymore. Being with people is easier now because now I know what they're saying better. I think it was grade seven where my mom asked me to read this and it was the first time she ever got me to read something or heard me read. And I remember she, we were driving home and I started reading and she started to cry because she never heard me read before. And it was, she had to pull over and it was a really proud moment for her, I guess. Once I discovered Aerosmith, I was just through the roof because I know that someone was dealing with the same problems that I was dealing with. I have my son with a smile on his face who got up this morning in day five of his new academic program and started before the teacher got there because he says, I'm ready now, I want this. Would he have done that two years ago? Not at all. We can have measures of reading, writing and spelling and math and measures of memory and cognitive processing, but now we want to look deep into the brain and see what's happening 
with the neurons, with the myelination of neurons, with the networks that are taking place. I think this will provide the evidence that will really influence school boards, uh, public policy makers, to look at programs like Aerosmith and say, we need this in our schools. The point of the research study that we're doing right now is to understand how the structure and the function of these children's brain, of children who are enrolled in the Aerosmith program, are changing with that intense educational experience. And what's exciting about the study is that we'll be able to pair our brain imaging data on structure and function with changes in educational psychological assessment. So not only can we show what areas of brain change, but whether or not that's related to change in the capacity for education or um, planning, thinking, those types of things. In order to influence change, there needs to be millions of dollars in research funds generated to look at children with learning disabilities and see how their brain changes. It's impossible for the Aerosmith program to do it alone. Uh, this will take a larger community, a community of philanthropists who want to make a difference, who want to join the Aerosmith program to team up as a group uh, to provide the funding that's going to be necessary to create the studies that are large enough. I'm able to get stuff out easier, so it's not, I, I don't get stuck, um, like when I'm trying to talk or when I'm trying to do a math problem. One day I read a book and then I was so excited because I could understand what I was reading and then I watched a movie and I could understand, I could follow the concept. I can read much better. I have noticed that I can do a lot more things that I couldn't do. Um, I'm just drastically improved. I mean, before I thought mum was really smart and that's all changed now. I mean, I'm just, I've, I've really changed. I've done the things that I never would have, that I would have only dreamed about. We do an hour-long brain scan, and then they come back and they actually complete between six and eight hours of cognitive testing here in the lab as well. So we then are going to look at those data now, um, and then we'll look at them in a year from now and look to see what's the relative amount of change across that time frame. It would be very interesting to see if across a year of intense practice, if the brain is now working, it's, it's bigger, more robust, and then also working more efficiently. We'll publish papers so that we can share this information with other educators, the scientific community, the education community at large. Um, we will also plan to disseminate them to the community at large, the lay community at large, probably through a series of public forums or talks. If we can show through very solid research, uh, looking at brain functioning, uh, working with schools, that this program has this power to influence change for these children for the future, I think that's worthy of giving. I think it's one of the most important things someone can give uh, funding towards. This is for a higher purpose. This is to help children who are truly suffering, and we need to end that suffering. My dream, born out of my personal struggle of living the first 25 years of my life with a very severe learning disability, is that no child has to experience the ongoing struggle of living with a learning disability. That every child has access to cognitive programming so that they can transform their lives. So not only do they have the ability to dream, to dare to dream, but they have the transformed cognitive capacities to realize that dream and to make this dream a possibility, we need your help. We need your help to fund this research so that we can transform children's lives, so that they have open doors, different possibilities, a different trajectory for their future. Again, not only can they dare to dream, but they can actually realize their dreams.
it'll literally change your brain. It'll change it so that you'll be able to dream up so many new things and soon you'll have the brain of an adult yet still being a kid. It really does work and I'm so glad I've got this opportunity.